What's up, big time gang? Got an impressive lineup here today, at least impressive to me. These are the Giants. These are um, pretty much the biggest watches you can get. Um, I don't think there's anything that comes bigger that's such a quality, solid build. So if you're interested in seeing this video, stay tuned. So welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. The Bohemus, the um, Giants, the Colossal Watches, however you want to say it. These are the beasts. These are um, by far the biggest watches you can get. There was years before where that's all I wanted was the biggest watch I could find. That was my thing. As everybody knows here, I have a big wrist. Um, I cared about what that watch looked like on my wrist and I wanted it to be as big as possible to uh, really make my wrist not look so big and make the watch pop, you know? So uh, um, that was my go-to thing. I, I had to have the biggest watch I could find that was quality build. So I had diesels. I had, you know, a whole bunch of other uh, uh, brands that, you know, um, were doing their best at uh, making, gra you know, grand, large, beefy watches. But once I found the grand, uh, the grand octane, sorry, I'm having trouble speaking. I'm thinking of having an aneurysm or something. Once I found the grand octane, um, all that changed and the sea hunter, those were, you know, the two best built watches for the size I've ever found. And, uh, I fell in love. So yeah, I had to have grand octanes and obviously the sea hunter is a great watch. Great build. I don't enjoy wearing it all day. So I used to have maybe about 20 of these. Now I only have this one and this one has, you know, sentimental value to it. That's why I keep this one. Um, Grand Octanes, I went crazy. I had like 63 at one point. Now I think I'm down to like 50 something, um, which is still a lot. But uh, I've been interested in other pieces now. Um, nothing wrong with my Grand Octanes. Just uh, I want something different, something different to bring to you guys. And um, just something different on my wrist. I've been looking at Grand Octanes for years now. And I uh, just want something different. And then uh, Steve Dela Cruz was awesome enough to send me this um, Parma. This is a 55 millimeter Parma, which is another behemoth. These are no longer made. These are made by Android. Um, hard to find. And then uh, my buddy Michael Patrick was awesome enough to hook me up with this uh, Android Millipede, which is no longer made. And this is also 55 millimeters. So, um, like I said, I got the lineup here of the beefiest watches you can get with the best build quality. So by far, my favorite is always going to be the Grand Octane. That's just something that, you know, is, is what it is. But if I had to pick a second out of these right now, it would be the Millipede. By far, the Millipede is just a great looking watch. The bracelet, bar none, awesome design. Um... The bracelet on this is just uh, so unique. And compared to these other four, I mean, there's nothing comparable in the other four bracelets. Now, the other four bracelets are nice quality, but they can't compare to this Millipede bracelet. So the Parma's got a really unique bracelet as well. It's got this little, you know, design and it almost looks like the pin going through it, but it's not. It's part of the design. But it's thin. It's not as beefy as the watch. You know, it, the bracelet and the, the case design and all that makes the watch to me. Uh, the Grand Octane has a nice beefy over 30 millimeter bracelet. But um, it's just a three link design. Basic. Um, it's solid, nice build, but it's just not anything, you know, that would stand out when it's on your wrist. And be like, wow, look at that bracelet. For this, just... Bam, you know, it's just, it's there, it's calling your attention. And then the Sea Hunter's got a really nice bracelet. Really good looking bracelet, nice and thick. But just still, it doesn't compare to the, uh, the Millipedes bracelet. If you're shopping for a watch, make sure to check out Georgia Mountain Watches. Link will be in the description. Now, all these watches is one thing that I really actually care about nowadays is the way the bracelet 
goes into the, the lugs and, and blends in with the case. So obviously the Sea Hunter, they did it well. It blends right in with the case. Looks like it belongs, which is the way it's supposed to be. Obviously the Grand Octane, same way, blends right in with the case. Looks like it's supposed to be there. It fits perfect. Um, Parma, same thing. Right there, perfect. Lines up, beautiful. No complaints. And then you've got the Millipede, which is way different than the other three, but works perfectly and definitely looks like it belongs there. And this is something that matters to me. So um, there's a 55 millimeter gauge. Um, it's got that bubble bezel. Uh, great looking watch, but the um, the bracelet doesn't blend into the, the lugs in the case and just as a turnoff for me. So, I mean, that's just something really small, you know, minute that I care about, but these all really have a nice flow. These are all very well wearing watches. Now, disclaimer, the Sea Hunter, that crown protector, if you wear your watch low like I do, it's gonna dig into your wrist. It will drive you crazy. If you don't wear your watch low, it shouldn't bother you. Um, if you wear it high up on your wrist, when you, when you bend your wrist, you know, you won't get hit by that crown protector. But um, that's one of the main deterrents is I tried to wear the watch tight and keep it up higher so it wouldn't hit my hand. And I still had issues with, you know, I live in Arizona, it gets hot, you sweat, the watch slides down. And it's not comfortable for me to wear my watch super tight and up on my wrist. I wear my watch low. That's the way I like it. That's the way I've always worn it. There's a whole backstory to that. I think I said in another video. So the Grand Octane, the um, the crown still sticks out quite a bit, but doesn't nearly dig in like the Sea Hunter does. The Parma obviously has a smaller crown. It won't dig into you nearly as much. And the Millipede, I wore this only, I think, once for a full day so far. And uh, I had about the same feel as the Grand Octane as far as the crown digging into my wrist. Not bad. Very comfortable watch. Um, these are very heavy. They're all close to a pound or over a pound. I don't think any are over a pound. I think the Sea Hunter unsized is exactly a pound. I believe the Grand Octane is like 14, 15 ounces unsized. And then uh, these two got to be close to the same. So uh, just really great builds. Um, these two are autos. I didn't bring out an auto Grand Octane. I have a Quartz. And then I have the Quartz um, Sea Hunter as well. This is the only one I have, so I had no other option. But uh, this is a Z60 Ronda. This is an 8040N Ronda. This is a, a NH36 Seiko. And so is this. So these two are both automatic NH36 movements. You can see the day date on this one as well. So uh, a little passerby making a lot of noise. I just wanted to do, you know, while I had Steve's watch in my possession, I wanted to do a little, you know, uh, uh, Clash of the Giants, Clash of the Titans, uh, just a little side by side so you can see all four side by side. And uh, I mean, really, the, the Grand Octane, they say 63, but it's it's 56 millimeters at the bezel. Not much of a difference. Now, the Grand Octane has so much more on the uh, right side of the watch that it really does make it look a lot bigger, even though it's really not that much bigger. There's that right side of the watch with the pushers and the uh, crown protector or the crown guards that stick out. It just makes the watch look a lot bigger than it really is. But as far as bezel wise, they're about the same size. And then, uh, you know, the Parma next to the Sea Hunter. Same thing. Bezels are almost the same size. Now, this is measured at 58 millimeter bezel. And uh, that crown protector and those pushers just make this Sea Hunter look humongous. But uh, it's really not as big as you think it is. It is a nice heavy watch, though. Thickness. Parma is much skinnier, much thinner, lower profile on your wrist, more comfortable to wear uh, long periods of time. But the comparable with the Grand Octane, about the same thickness. And I believe the Grand Octane measures in at 18 millimeters thick, and the Sea Hunter, I think, is 22. Um, millipede, another one, a little thicker, definitely heavier than the Parma. You get these two together. And the Parma is light compared to the Millipede. The Millipede is a solid, heavy watch. 
Now, the Parma's not a lightweight by no means, but next to this Millipede, man, I mean, it's it's ounces difference. I mean, I can feel the weight a lot heavier on the Millipede. So anyway, I wanted to do this uh, just to show you guys a difference in size. And uh, um, if you were looking for an Android, which are hard to find, and good luck to you if you are. Um, if you're looking for an Android 55 millimeter, just, you know, if you have a Grand Octane or a C-Hunter already, now you have a perspective of, of what they all look like side by side. And uh, just beautiful watches, man. If you're into the big beefy watches, these are the watches for you. These are the four that I recommend as the best built quality wise and size. You can buy that 65 millimeter uh, diesel, the granddaddy or whatever it's called. That thing's like trash. I mean, it's, it's lightweight. Um, it, the movement inside of it is tiny or they have that one that has like five time zones, whatever. These are actually quality movements. Um, the movement fills the case back. It's great watches. Now, out of these four, this is the only one that has a cheap movement, which is the, the Z60 by Ronda. It's not nearly the quality, but, you know, the 8040N Ronda is like the best quartz movement you can get, in my opinion. And then the uh, Day Day Seiko NH36, awesome movement. So anyway, um, if you're considering to buy a big watch, these are the four I recommend. And um, like I said, disclaimer, these two are not easy to find. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not going to post any uh, pictures on this one. It's just going to be a uh, you know, video and done. Be sure to smash that subscribe button. Have a great day. And as always, God bless.